Yo, what's up? It's Najru, and I'm playing with the ultimate cross path mod once again, meaning we can get the fifth tier of each path all on the same tower. Now, last time I did use the wizard monkey and well, he sucked. So I wanted to use a tower that I know would work well here. That tower is none other than the Buccaneer. And we can slap him right here in the middle of Park Path. Now I chose Park Path because you got a big water spot here in the middle and the balloons will loop around here multiple times. But I'm not too sure where I should put him because we can also fit him up here. But I don't think up here is the optimal spot, right? I think somewhere down here is. I'll put him like right here, right? Because eventually when we get longer range, he should be able to hit all the way up here too. Oh, you know what? Once we get his top path, he can hit anywhere, dude. It's not even going to matter. So I'll go right here for now. And we can go ahead and start it. Now I'm not sure if we need to do too much farming for this guy. Guy. let me look at his upgrades real quick here upgrades trade empire 27 pirate lord 25 and carrier flagship 30 okay so not bad just a slight bit of farming so i think we should rush the bottom path then right because the bottom path is going to give us the most income let's get grape shots first because that's going to be the most damage and then we'll start going bottom path there we go easy grape shots okay yeah all oh, perfect perfect because even when the balloons are right here the extra grapes are going to hit anything that's down here as well and same for right here and vice versa so this is probably a really good spot i put him in if i had him right here hitting up here dude the extra grapes wouldn't do anything man they just go into the wall but right here they actually have a use speaking of a use what should we use next dude i honestly think we could farm because grape shot is such a powerful upgrade dude we could really get away with farming right now i don't have enough to get geraldo's totem so i guess i just save up for a regular farm then right yeah even yellows aren't much of a trouble here because the grapes are just so good dude grapes has got to be one of the most op first tiers man name a first tier upgrade that's more op than grape shot maybe extra thorns maybe the one on the sub because the sub's bottom one literally doubles its attack speed that's pretty good as well already on unpoppable geraldo's totem costs 900 and geraldo costs 650 so if we do the math 10 11 12 13 14 15 that's like 15 50 that we need right yeah we should be able to get it now so if i throw geraldo like all the way down here in this bottom left corner oh yeah we only need ten dollars more easily easily where should we put it though Ooh, right here yeah i'll put it right here for a company and we can fast forward this again he's doing really well here but i do think he needs an upgrade let us go Ooh, faster shooting i think faster shooting is going to be great here yeah faster shooting into double shot let us get faster shooting and double shot cost 660 we should get there very fast this will be our early game farm we'll eventually sell this to get a farm or we could get the farm and then sell this for one of the upgrades i'll probably do that instead i'll probably sell it for the top path upgrade all right so right here we can go double shot that should be a lot more dps here and we do need to go camel to tech because around 24 is coming up soon and i want to be able to deal with that camel balloon process is actually 480 okay so the extra range doesn't quite go right here like i thought it would but i mean it's not going to matter too much once we get the top path it's going to hit anywhere anyways so we'll be fine let's go crow's nest here and i also want to go hot shot i want to wait on hot shot though until after 25 once 25 passes and we get past all the purples then i'll get hot shot because it'll actually be worse if we do have it for that round so i'll just wait yeah easy Easily handles this easily. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and go hot shot here for the leads, and now we can farm because I think this guy can hold his own for a while now. Like this is a very strong cross path on him. It's essentially the same as he normally would be, except he's got camel attack now, right? He's got a little extra range in camel attack. It's once we get to the third tiers that's where things start really happening, right? Speaking of happening, let us get this banana farm happening, and I'll put him. Now nah, I'll put him in the bottom this time. I normally put my farms above my towers, but I kind of like farming down here. And I'll go ahead and get this first upgrade here, increase production, round thirty, easily handle like a champ, just like twenty eight. I'm actually really excited for this guy, dude. I think this guy's gonna mess very well like i can't see any of his cross paths like interfering with one another right because even if you get his top path where most of his damage does come from his planes he still hits his main attack like he still has a shotgun effect here and that's also going to get boosted by the middle paths cannons which will also get oh shoot are we losing here? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Ah, it scared me for a second. As I was saying, which will also get boosted by the ability of us being able to use our hook to actually pull down the stronger blues. Mainly the stronger ZOMGs, right? And then the bottom path makes extra income. Oh, yeah, we should rush the bottom path, right? I completely forgot the bottom path could be making us money right now, dude. We're actually whiffing here a little bit. Did the yellows get faster? We weren't whiffing before. Maybe it was just the angle of attack. All right, I do want to go bottom path here. Easy collect, a banana salvage, and we need like a thousand more. And then once I get that, I'll start going into this guy more. Probably go for the bottom path for him as well. All right, marketplace. 36 we easily handle as well, right? Right, but they are getting a little overwhelming. What can I get next? Cannon chip? I really want to save up for a destroyer instead, though. Does this add any damage? No, it just generates cash. I guess we'll hold off on that one. Let's see. If we're in trouble, I will get cannon chip. But I think we're fine here, right? We are fine. It looks a little rough. I know, but we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We just gotta slow down a little bit. And those can eat those. Oh, or we snipe it. Oh, we don't stop the two reds. Though. Okay. It is what it is, right? We got most of them. All right, let's go ahead and get destroyer here. Now, one thing I might have to do, I might have to give him a village with camo detection, though. Because you know, some of these towers, even though one of their paths does have camo, it doesn't give all of them camo to tech. And the best way for us to figure that out is the DDT rounds. Or also before that, I think it's like round 76 or 78. It has like a whole wave of camel ceramics. So I think that'll be a good way for us to test it out. While the small up is coming, let's get this middle path here. And also I want to get merchant men too. So sprites don't change on him. I just think he can start generating money now, right? He easily handles this mob, right? Easily, easily, easily. There we go. Yeah, he started to make some money too. Now we're in business. Speaking of business, how much money has this made us? Only 7,000. Okay, that's not too much. So I guess since we're good for a while, we can go ahead and go banana plantation here in a 
minute or in like a few seconds. There we go. And then we'll go into banana research. Oh, they're getting a little far here now though, the regular balloon. So let us go ahead and go cannon ship. It just adds a cannon, right? Oh yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be good. So the cannon is shooting. It gains the attack speed from the destroyer now. So now these are all explosive shots. Dude, this guy actually might be kind of laggy though, man. But I think this is as fast as he'll be shooting down here. He'll just gain like, what, two more cannons on each side. And eventually he'll be able to shoot over here too. So he'll have like dual cannons going. I think that's what will happen. Let's go ahead and go for a flavored trades. I said flavored. I've always called this flavored trades, but it's favored. Oh, this actually looks really weird. Maybe he might need like some glue to slow these balloons down. But I think once we get his Top path will be fine because once he gets him from this angle, he can hit anything, man. And especially when they come down this way. How much does this top path cost? 22,000. How much do we have here? Nine. Okay, so we need like a little bit more. We need like this to be 10k and us to also have 10k, right? I'll wait like one round. Look at all this damage down here, man. I'll just get it now. I'll sell it now. Ooh, we could get bottom path trade empire instead. I'll stick with our roots and go that one. I trust this guy can carry. He's got the damage for it. Speaking of damage, let's go into aircraft carrier next because that's gonna be a lot of extra damage here for us. You know, it'd be really cool. It'd be really cool if the mini planes were also shooting like the middle path cannons, but I don't think it's gonna do anything crazy like that. Oh, yeah. See, it's struggling to catch these a little bit. Even the ceramics are fast, man. I don't know if the planes can, though. We have to see if the planes can hit camos. Because if the planes can't hit camos, then I will get a camo village for them. But for now, let's go ahead and go. Okay, yeah, look. The planes are not hitting these. So I will get a camo village for them. Because it's going to be crucial for our planes to be able to hit camos. You know, with the income from the bottom path now, we should be able to get it up easy. Where do I put it? Like right here. Top path will not make it. Okay, cool. And let's go camo there. Now the top path can hit camo. That's like the only buff I will allow early on. Yeah, there we go. Look at all that extra damage, dude. We probably would have lost this if we didn't have camo on the top path. Speaking of paths let us get this middle path now we don't really need it but i just like to have it early you know in case anything happens i like to have it oh wait did that also add cannons adds two cannons to the ship and can attack do more damage wait i don't see extra cannons though oh wait i think i just did oh yeah i see extra cannons but it looks like they shoot slow again oh yeah we lost the attack speed we got from the top one i mean that's fine dude we're shooting cannons man i thought it was pretty busted that we were shooting that many anyways right so i think this makes this tower more fair let's go ahead and get this bottom path here man generates more cash per round increases cash and about 20 other merchantmen buy the number of merchantmen and boost all merchantmen damage the damage upgrade yeah we handle this easy right easy 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 we don't even need the hook what does power lord do i'm curious greatly increased attack speed for all attacks and can shoot three grappling hooks at once plundering extra cash from each moab balloon takedown Okay, so this greatly increased attack speed. I'm assuming it's gonna match really well with the top path. Oh, it's also gonna gain extra damage. Can place other monkeys on the upper decks of the ship and increase the attack speed of all water-based monkeys and monkey aces. I totally ran out of breath saying that, man. Okay, so we got a lot of good stuff going on here, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and get top path here. All right, so the top path is giving us extra damage and we get increased attack speed with the top path. The middle path is gonna give us greatly increased attack speed and the ability to shoot out three hooks that gives us extra cash, which we really won't need. And the bottom path is gonna give us more cash per round and boost all of our damage overall so all three paths are boosting our damage i think that's actually going to be a lot for this guy because most of his attacks are just fast right that's really how he gets his damage out so all these damage increases are going to do lots of stuff for him especially when he gets buffed but right now he's doing really well i've done a two tower chips with him before on the Candyland map so i'm very confident in his abilities i had him and geraldo and like a lot of damage did come from me putting geraldo's turrets down and putting like jerry fires on him but if this guy's a 555 then we don't even need that and actually we can sell geraldo before he tries to get any pops here Goodbye, Mr. G. Your services are no longer needed. Speaking of services, should we get a tech bot for him? I don't really think we need one, but I'm not clicking the ability and I feel like it might help later on, right? Put the tech bot right by the farm and black metal. Already getting to work, giving us extra cash that we don't even need. Actually, let's go ahead and get the top out here, man. Just cause. Dude, this looks like a cash dump now, right? What's another tower we could just dump cash into and it won't really do too much here? All the regular sun god village, we could just buy them. We can just stack up a bunch of them on the side here. Nah, I won't do all that. I'll wait until we actually need to buff this guy. And I think it's going to be a while before we actually do need a buff. He's handling this well. My game isn't, I'm not even going to say the word. I almost said the word, but I'm not going to say it because every time I say the word, then it starts. Talk about the L word. Yeah, we don't say the L word on this channel anymore, man. The L word is bad luck for our game's performance. Yeah, these guys are doing lots of damage, man. I'm loving all the Moab damage we get from the planes and the ability from the middle path. And then once all the balloons and ceramics get like right here, this guy just shreds them with the shotgun path. Look, look at that. They all just get shredded when they're right here, man. Actually, he can see all the way. Oh yeah, nice. Okay. So when we got him that village that gave him that little buff of range to be able to see this path, which is a lot of extra damage if he's able to hit them as soon as they get right here. Now, I'm assuming he's going to breeze to 80 as well. We actually might hook it if we have the ability up in time, right? It's about to come back up though, but it's probably going to get popped before we can even use 
use it, right? Oh, wait, no, we can't hook it. It's a ZOMG. We can only hook the BFPs. I forgot. We have to get the next path to get it. That was beautiful ZOMG damage, by the way. It got like, what, down here? What percent of the map is that? Like 25%? No, that's kind of 50, right? Isn't it? Right here is like 50. So it almost got halfway. And that's with a 544. You know, most of the damage comes from this path and this path. So that's pretty good. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and get. I want to get this one, Trade Empire. I want to see this extra damage here. See if it makes a difference. I don't think it makes too much of a difference here. I mean, we have a lot of Super Sram damage now, man. Because I don't think these could normally do that to Super Sram. So all in all, it's still handling this very well. You know what I'm wondering? I wonder if this ability is shorter. Because this one's kind of long here, right? It doesn't mention that it gets shortened, but I know for sometimes, like when you get the fifth tier, it usually shortens the cooldown on it. Oh, yeah. Look, the ZOMGs are only getting right here now, and they're more buffed than they were five rounds ago. But yeah, I can feel the extra damage from the bottom path. And that'll be a lot when we get them buffed as well. Dude, I feel like the damage buffs that we're going to give him is going to do wonders for this guy. Because he already attacks so fast. You know, each one of his planes is going to be like a fifth tier of the ace. Well, they're literally mini aces, right? But with all the buffs, they will actually be mini aces. Not quite mini 555s, but almost mini top paths. All right, I do want to see how this guy does against round 90 before getting his middle path. Because I know his middle path will work wonders too. But I want to see his DDT damage. Because that'll be a big indicator of what he's capable of. As well as round 100. All right, here we go. Round 90. Some DDTs. And they get popped halfway. So we could use a little bit more damage there. Let's go ahead and get this middle path Fire Lord. So now we can pull three big boys down. Wait, wait, this is way more, right? This looks like he's shooting way more. Did he gain attack speed? Oh yeah, greatly increased attack speed for all attacks and can shoot three grappling hooks at once. Okay, yeah. So he's got a lot more attack speed. Does that translate to the planes though? The planes look like they're attacking the same. Actually, wait, they're attacking so fast we can barely see the darts. We can see the ones that just spray out normally, but like we can't see them when they're actually focused on one balloon. Let's use DDT damage now. Oh, uh, that's... Eh. It's all right. He can still use a little bit more, in my opinion. Here's 94. Pretty heavy RBE round, so I want to see how he does here. The hook cooldown actually isn't that bad. I don't know if the hook's cooldown is shorter now or not. It feels shorter. So I think this guy's definitely going to clear round 100, but round... Ooh, wait, this round. Wait a minute. This round's giving him trouble. Hold up, hold up. I was thinking he might lose at like round like 120 something, but looks like he might lose now, dude. Oh, wait, there's no more DDTs though. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Holy, that was scary, man. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna last that long, man. At least not the normal one. We'll have to buff him. Right now, it seems like all of his paths are meshing together very well here. He's generated 34k for us, which we really don't need for anything. But most of his damage is gonna come from when he's buffed. That's where he really shines. I definitely think he's beating round 100. And I think he's gonna make it to round somewhere between 117 and 125 is what I'm thinking. But if there's fortified DDTs and there's like a lot of them, like on round 95, then it'll probably be that round. Which I think that happens as early as round like 111, 112. But I'm gonna stick with 117. I have faith in it. Here's round 98. Probably the heaviest RBE round in all these 100 rounds. Is this more RBE than the bat itself? I think it is, right? Round 98 is like the only round that I kind of lose on whenever I'm doing chimps. Oh, are we about to lose again? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. We're about to lose this. Round 98. No way. Oh my god, it's so close. Oh my god. Goodness, that's all the fortifieds. I think that was a trouble, right? The fortifieds. Because he handles the regular ones fine. Sheesh, man. I don't know about 117, bro. Oh, is he handling this? Are we losing? Oh, that's so close. Oh, man. Jeez, dude. I don't know about 117 anymore, man. I'm thinking like 107. I'm going to have to nick it down 10 rounds. If he even gets past 99, dude, we might lose here. This looks like a GG's right here, man. This looks like a GG's right here. Yup, yup, yup. That is a GG's. Round 99? Seriously? That's crazy. Come on. That's got to be a hoax, right? You know what? I'm going to untech bottom because I think that was a hoax. I will manually do this. Come on. Don't fail me again. I just spent some monkey cash on you. No. Come on. No, dude, we're so close, man. All righty, you know what? Let's just buff the guy. Round 99, man. I know he can beat round 100. It's just DDTs are just too much for him right now, dude. I think what it really is, is he needs the middle path, right? Most of his damage is coming from the top path with the planes, and the planes can't hit DDTs. But all right, we already have the village here, so let's get jungle drums. Get this guy all the way up. Wait a minute, what am I doing? We have the golden village. Sell this. Let's replace it with the golden village here, which has even more range, but I don't think it's hitting this, right? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, it has the sun guy above. It just doesn't show it. Cool, so. We need this one, this one. We should just go all the way, right? Let's just full send them. Why not? Oh, we need two. Oh, wait, right here should be a range, right? Yeah. And then we go. We don't have enough capital. Are you serious? Oh, did I forget to get bottom? I forgot to get monkey wall here. That's why. Oh, jeez. All right, so we don't have all the buffs yet. We got to save up. All right, I'll go ahead and get monkey wall street next. I completely forgot about it, dude. I've never had a buff a tower this much this early on. That's why we don't have any income. Right, let's go ahead and start this and I will tech bot him. And I also need another tech bot for the regular guy as well now, right? So he easily handles this fine now. Oh, one thing I forgot. So I noticed in the last time that we used the gold village. Oh, wait, here's round 100. Let's see this real quick. Let's see this damage real quick and then I'll... Oh, and it gets popped at the entrance. It gets popped at the entrance. 
entrance, man. Oh, the glue gunner. Yeah, no thanks, game. Let me get the bottom path here, Monkey Wall Street. But that is a good sign. The bad balloon gets popped all the way up here. So this thing's gonna last a while with all these buffs. I'm telling you, that's all it really needs is some buffs, man. Oh, look at this, dude. Look at this sacred geometry here. Oh, it's such a beautiful thing to see on the screen. All right, as I was saying, I remember the last time I actually used these gold villages. They don't have the reactor, which reduces cooldowns. Like, look, we don't have the reactor ability anywhere here. We have all these except the reactor. So that is one thing I did miss when I was doing the wizard. I think I can put the sub all the way down here, right? This will give like the least effect here. And now he should have the reactor, right? Yeah, he has the reactor. This guy also has the reactor. This guy doesn't have it yet, but he could get it. Let's also get Drottle's goodness. Oh, that was a little bit laggy. I'm gonna have to wait in between rounds to get these. Oh, wait, I gotta overclock him. I'm dumb. Does both the overclock and the regular stack ultra boost and overclock? Yeah, they do stack. I honestly feel like it's only visual that they stack. And in reality, like one is overtaking the other, but I'm not too sure how all that works out. Let's go ahead and get this. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Yeah, we don't really need the stacking simulator because we don't need any shinobi tactics or popular stacks. But I do want the self overclock replica, which almost caused my game to freeze. So I guess it's not going to show up a little icon because it's like the paragon, right? It doesn't show the icon of him actually buffing himself, but he does buff himself over time. Well, look at all these buffs, man. You got the true sun god, the sun himself, and all the others in here, all in between. Speaking of in between, let me get my list out here, my tower buff checklist, just to make sure we have everything, right? Oh, wait, Pat. See, I just looked at the list. I picked up the list and realized we needed Pat. And there he is, Pat. All right, cool. Where can I put Pat? Like right here. Can I put Pat on the ship? Pat is a little too big, but I can put him right here. He's got plenty of range and we will tech bot him as well. He'll be doing a little bit of damage, but Pat can't really hit bats and bats are going to be the reason if we win or lose the game. So, oh my, look at this. It's like a solid beam of bombs, dude. It's like a fan. I feel like I can pick it up and fan myself off, man. Cool myself down from all these hot projectiles and shooting out. Oh, and I really don't like the way that sounded out loud, man. You know what? I'm just going to stop talking for a little bit. Alrighty, back to my checklist. Okay, number one, max village. We do have multiple max villages. Number two, a permabrew. We do have a permabrew. Number three, an ultra boost. This golden has the ultra boost. Number four, reactor down here in the bottom left corner. Number five, tech bots. We have the three tech bots. And number six, extras. We have him as the extra. Now, I'm not sure if there's any abilities this guy has that we need to cast. I don't think so. I'll put down an extra tech bot just in case just to see if anything pops up, but I don't think anything does, right? Oh, something does. Oh, no, it's just that ability. No, we don't need that. We don't need that ability, bro. That's just lag. Oh, no. Nah. Get rid of the tech bot. We do not need these sentries. They do nothing. <laughs> these are bad luck sentries, man. Last time I got them, I lost the same round. Oh, dude, it actually pulled one on top of the boat. Maybe that's actually good luck. I wish I could upgrade him. Cool. We got all the buffs. Alrighty, predictions. As you can see, balloons aren't even getting past this first loop right here. So this thing actually has a long time before it'll drop. And there's that sacred geometry again, man. Look at that. Dude, I love seeing that, man. I can definitely see this thing getting into the 180s. That's where he might start struggling. 180, 190, because his biggest problem was he couldn't hit leads, but he can do that now. He's got way more attack speed than he already has, and he's got a lot more damage, so he actually might be able to beat 200, man. And you know what? With this much power, I kind of want to see him versus his Paragon, but I'll have to save that for another time. As for the rounds he'll get to, I think he can make it past 200. I actually have faith he can, because even when the balloons get all the way over here, like right up against them, he'll be able to hit the ones from the bottom. Nope, let me stop talking again, bro. Come on. There I go again, dude. You know what? Round 210, man. I'm saying round 210. If if the 80s are too hard, then he'll make it to like 192. But if he makes it past that, if he's breezing through the 190s, easily getting past the 200s, and he's probably gonna make it to like 210 or something. Am I highballing? Probably. I'm gonna stop talking because I keep messing up my words, and let's go AFK and see how far this guy gets. I'll talk to you guys soon. Alrighty, guys, I've got some bad news. While I was running behind the scenes, my game crashed. And when I try to get back into it, I've been met with this screen for the past 20 minutes. So I don't think it's gonna load anytime soon. So there's two things we could do. I could either call it here. I don't even know what round it lost on. Or I'm gonna have to redo the game and get all the way back to where we were without using the mod. I'm gonna assume that the reason why it crashed was because of the true sun god village this time. So for me, it'll probably take like another hour. But for y'all, it'll happen instantly. I'll see you guys in a sec. Alrighty, we are back and I have recovered the game, sort of. Now the game crashed at round 160 and I managed to get it to 151 before we lost. So we did lose this round, but I did get to go on Village Mount once again. So you already know, I'm about to sell all this nonsense and we are gonna get our gold villages right back up. I think I had one up here, one right here. This one was bottom path, right? Bottom path here. And then I had one right here for our top path. I might be making a mistake by trying to do this again, but I'm very stubborn, man. I wanna see how far this thing can go. Cause this thing was easily bruising through the 160s man like the balloons are barely getting to like right here and on 151 with just our regular buffs it loses so there's no way i can accept that we'll need to make sure that we have a tech bot set to this guy and let's get the bottom wait do we already have bottom we already have bottom path whoops back up and let's go for uh oh don't lag please don't crash 
Oh no, it crashed. Oh, there we go. Cool. Nice, nice. I was worried, man. I was worried. All right. Yes, there we go. All right. So let's get this guy tech about it as well. We can go ahead and play it here. I'm going to take it nice and slow because we do need to activate some of these abilities to this guy before we can actually get all of our damage out there. Mainly the overclocks. As you can see, the game is very laggy. This is how laggy it was, man. So I'll be honest. I was the one who made the game crash, right? The reason being is because normally what I do whenever I'm running it very long, I like to go back to the main menu, turn my game settings down to the base minimum so it can run as fast as possible. And that's how I can really get through all these crazy rounds. But it seems like if I try to go to the home screen from what we got going on here, it'll just crash my whole game. So I'm going to leave it as is. Oh, wait. Shoot, 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 shoot. Um, We need to untech about this one. Untech about the golden. I forgot. Look at all these towers, man. That's probably the cause of this lag here. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, there's so many. I'm trying my best to get rid of them as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah, dude, the game is running better the more these guys get rid of. <laughs> Maybe that's why it crashed, dude. Because we did have one up on the top of the actual boat. We had one on this left platform here. So I think the game just couldn't load him up. Because he is just a dart monkey. So I'm assuming he's supposed to have like a different sprite. But it just defaults to the dart monkey because there's nothing else available. Uh, anyways, let's get rid of all these. As you can see, the tower goes very fast. We still got our sacred geometry again. And actually, in the meantime, while I was getting to this round, what I was doing is I was actually doing some Amazon shopping. So apparently my chair sucks and it's been causing me a lot of lower back issues. So my solution to all that is to get a standing desk. I've wanted to stand and record these anyways. It gives me a lot more energy, a lot more passion to actually make these. So I'm going to go ahead and order a standing desk and I'm going to also order a better chair. It's called like an ergonomic, an ergonomic, an aerodynamic. It's one of those Eero chairs, right? ERO. So it's supposed to be like really good. It's supposed to shape with your body. So I'm going to go ahead and get one of those alongside a standing desk. That way I can rotate between, right? While I record, I can be standing, have a lot of energy there, a lot of passion. And then when I'm actually editing, I can be sitting down. Or when I'm gaming, I don't really need to stand and be vocal then. I could just chill back game. I have those coming in. I don't even know, man, because I do have Amazon Prime shipping. So half of them will come in two days. But the ones that take longer to produce will probably come in like a week. But I'm very excited, man, because honestly, the back pain sucks, man. Like I'm here trying to edit, get these videos out as fast as possible. But I have to take like 10 minute breaks just to stand and stretch out my back, man. For a guy my age, I should not be having back problems, man. I've started exercising again as well you know doing a rotation between arms back core so that's been helping out a lot as well so all in all i think i should be good you know especially once we get the products in but as for balloons how far do we think this guy's gonna go now so as you can see it's around 157 the pads are barely getting past this mark right here they actually get popped right after this first curve so as you can see there's a long way to go which is why i actually tried so hard to get this guy back up just because i know his potential is so uncapped right now man because there will be a long time before this guy loses so long in fact i actually have no idea what round he might lose on i think before i predicted like round 200 but at the pace it's going now man i think it could easily pass 200 oh i'm gonna go kind of high here i'm gonna go like 224 no 228 always the eights man they always lose on the eights all it's gonna take is like a fortified bat to get like all the way right here and then fortified ddt's just launch through the map man that's exactly how i'm thinking we're gonna lose 228 i'm calling it but like always we'll have to see for ourselves i'll catch you guys then you know what? We actually have a Geraldo's totem here. How much has this thing made? If I can even click it. It's made 1.8 million. So by round 200, Geraldo's action figure can make 1.8 million. Because I can actually place this thing down at like round seven. Holy, that's a lot of income, man. I don't think that's as much as our banana farm though, right? Yeah, our banana farm is made five times that amount. So it's always more worth going the banana farms. But also this is a 525. So you got to take that into account as well. Oh, right, here we go. We got spaced bats, man. This is what I'm talking about. So the first one is going to be a fortified bat. So that was going to get very far and then once that one pops then these regulars are gonna get far as well but they're just regular so we might be able to handle it oh but there's two fortified ones down here okay wait a minute oh yeah that's some trouble man there are two fortified bads one of them is about to pop but the other one it only has one stripe of damage on it i'll be honest i'm losing faith here i don't have faith that he'll be able to make this through because we need to see arm bandages already but we don't see them we see the second bandage oh wait there's some arm bandages oh wait is he about to clutch this the other bads still have like full health dude yeah the one at the bottom only has one bandage yeah this one's going to the exit and if the bad itself doesn't make it then it's insides will i'm hearing moab's pop but it's not the bad yeah this guy is lagging his way onto the exit he is taking it one frame at a time and that is game over around 226 with 340 million pops down about 70 million pops from the total pop count but all in all this guy before any buffs absolute dog water but when you get him buffed absolute stellar tower man past round 200 i knew he'd make it past 200 when buffed you know the main downside was when he wasn't he just didn't have lead popping power you know once he got that up and once he got more damage and attack speed it was ggs now i'm actually curious man you know what i'm gonna give you guys a treat let's continue let's do some testing i said i was gonna do this in another video but i changed my mind here let me sell all of these oh that one lagged can i not sell this uh oh 
Oh, there it goes. Okay, I was worried for a second, dude. I was worried the game would crash. Let's get rid of all these guys, even Pat, even the farm, even the Quincy action figure, man. Get rid of everything. If you know what I'm doing, then you know what I'm doing. We're testing this against its Paragon counterpart. Now, the Paragon might not be a high level because all we have is this, and I don't think we can fit too many boats here. Yeah, let me try squeezing in more boats here, but I'll be honest, this isn't a great map to actually try to get this Paragon at. Like, there's much better alternatives. I think we can fit, yeah, one more down here. Yeah, that's it. That's all we can really fit here. If I position the original one better, then I could probably fit like a fourth one here, but we'll have to deal with that for now. Alrighty, let's upgrade these guys all the way, because I think it's about the income, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, well, we can't get him now, right? So every time we get another fifth here, then we can't get it. I'm gonna leave this guy then, because this guy will be the one. There we go. And this one, I think I can just get two, right? Alrighty, here we go. A Nabrock of the Seas. Dude, what Paragon level are we thinking, man? Well, this guy already has the max pops, right? 348 million pops. That's easily over the count. And then with all the others, we should have enough money in total, because this thing's also generated 185,000. So we should be good. We should have a high level. I'm thinking, actually, maybe not that high, to be honest. Knowing the Paragons, it's probably gonna be, what, like, level 26? It'd be nice if we could get it above 40, but I have my doubts. Let's get it. Tasha will create a Paragon Monkey Buccaneer. All their Monkey Buccaneers will be destroyed in the process, feeding the Paragons power. But let's do it. Now, what level do we got? Boom! 85! <laughs> nice, man. Okay, that is way higher than I thought. All righty. All right, we're getting some real tests going here. All right. We can do something with this guy. He doesn't have much range here. It's actually, like, really small. But, I mean, most of his damage comes from his top path and his ability. Can I actually tech bottom? Oh, you actually can tech bottom, but I think I'm going to do it manually because I want to manually pull down the fortified bats. I don't want him wasting his ability on regular ZOMGs or DDTs. All righty, here is the test. This is where the 555 God Boosted lost round 220. 26. Let's see what this guy does. I actually wonder if it's laggy. So far, it's not laggy at all. Let's go ahead and use this ability once. Handling everything fine, dude. Breezing through everything. Oh, he has no... He has no damage to these bads. These things are moving, man. This game is running crystal smooth. Oh, yep, that's it. GG's. Oh, he can't do it, man. What? Dude, I was really excited for him, man. 85. He might have to be a Paragon 100, right? We have to do max Paragon versus max 555. So that will be it for the 555. Absolute stellar, man. Beat the Paragon. So he's actually stronger than the Paragon, man. Absolutely crazy. I'm really looking forward to what the other towers have to offer, man. Because this guy, this guy just blew the balloons out the water. As for the others, we'll have to test them out ourselves and see.